they come through serious as well. Okay. This Hathoria energy. Dealing with the opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they're two separate ones, but they're working together mm -hmm. for a common kind of thing. The Arcturians are more so hands on healing energy. Peace, Terrica. Hey, hey Sam. Sam. What's <laughs> Yeah. Very interesting show tonight. <clears throat> yes. I'm ready to receive. I am ready to receive. Can't make this stuff up, y'all. I promise you can't. <laughs> you cannot. So peace to y'all. It's 10 of y'all in here. We'll give people a few more people time to get in here before we begin. Um yeah. We're going to give y'all some more time to get in here. I, I really, I ju I'm getting these downloads. Like, throughout all day today, I've been getting these downloads. So, I'm not quite sure where to start. But, I hope that y'all are in a place where your heart can receive what's going to come through. Because, it's going to transform you. Thank like, you. really. Thank you, Mom. Oh, peace. Yes. Peace. Yeah. All my sisters up in here. With me, Thought my brothers. Be, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hey, family, what's happening? Absolutely. Hey, Janet. Yeah. Weirdos up in this thing. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, what's the up? script? What's up? Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace. As everybody's coming in, we just definitely want to say. We wishing everybody a, a cool day today. Yes, the cash button is working. Thank you, one that's loving life. Okay. Hit the thumbs up too, y'all. Like as many people as in here, that's how many <laughs> thumbs up, you know. It's gonna help other people to find us. Yep. Thank you. Yes, Erica. So okay. We're gang gang. I'm gonna start. It's 15 of us in here. That's good. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get into what you can expect to experience with us tonight. So, first of all, all hey, day today, up, all day today, all day today, I don't know what happened, but me, I received, um, I received a chakra attunement from the Arcturians yesterday during acupuncture, and I immediately did it, and it just blew me away. I was like, oh my gosh, I have tapped into a whole new level of power with this this is not based on any book i've ever read like nothing it just came to me like that mm -hmm. and so the arcturians were explaining to me that um they were making contact with us in our day-to-day -day lives but a lot of us don't notice because they can't they can't get in the way of our will they're not gonna intrude upon our will or anything like that mm -hmm. so what's happening is these arcturians this is like a intergalactic um federation that is helping the souls that are awakening on earth and they're assisting us so for some of us we're gonna have um really profound light codes just come to you just out of the blue and you go think it's out of the blue and it kind of is out of the blue out of the blue energy of the arcturians mm -hmm. they come with just this healing energy and they put me into this like bio photonic structure and it was just scanning my whole body and, and I could see my cells. I could see my DNA lighting up. It was so, it was just tripping me out. And I was like, oh my goodness. And they were like, y'all have learned a lot of things wrong about the chakras. And so we're, we're gonna be reteaching. So I was like, okay, we'll start with me, you know? And so the very first thing they began telling me is that we've been trying to make our chakra spin clockwise because we were told it's the right way. They were just like, but no, it's different for each person. And it depends on what energetic vibration you in. So it changes from person to person. You may rotate your chakras and visualize them rotating clockwise and it may feel off and weird to you so 
So they were like, this is the very first thing is that we need you all to know that you are individuals and everybody's chakras will not be moving the same way. So I was, it was good to get that light code because that, you know, I've been seeking information about this. So, okay, once they gave me that, then they began working through the chakras and they were just like, now, one other thing we want to clarify with the chakras, you are like the needle and it's a record or you are the person and the chakras are a hula hoop. So they're not doing this or this, they're going all the way around your auric field. And it's just like galaxies, the Milky Way, Sirius. When you look at things, you see the golden mean rule. You see the Fibonacci sequence, the spiral of the shell of your ear, of a baby and a fetus in the womb. It's just like the ear. Everything in nature. Everything. Plants grow in this spiral. So they corrected me on the movement of the chakras. Mm -hmm. Y'all. I'm laying here and I'm like, damn, I got it. Like, I got to hear up and get this information out. So they were basically like, okay, so, because y'all know I had been sick the last week. So I was really pressing, really pressing in. And this is when, when you feel something is, is um, affecting you. This is when you want to really start you using the tools and the knowledge that you've been getting, because if you do not thank you for the donation. Yes, Nikolai. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to get some, some like catchy. I want to say to y'all, but, but when you, when y'all do that, I don't know why, but when y'all do that, I feel like I want to say something catchy. But I can't think anything. But I do want to say when y'all give those donations, I need y'all to know that you are participating in a mass healing ritual when you do that. Oh, so when yeah. you give donations here, this is what that energy is going to do. And that energy is also going to show itself to you. Yeah, okay. Coming right back. So thank you. Oh, yes. Definitely coming back to you. Mm -hmm. um, so we have been doing things wrong with our chakras. Okay. We are individuals. Each of us is different. I have already recorded the meditation. It's going to be probably about 30 minutes long. It was as short as I could get it. As soon, while I was lit with all of this energy, I recorded this meditation really, really late last night. I was so determined to get it done. I was so determined. It didn't matter how bad my body felt. I was like, I have to get this meditation done. And I got it done last night. I was like, babe, I got it done. Oh, you yeah. know, so I'm going to let him do the editing. powerful so be looking for that okay it's coming i always get to experience anything first <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um the second thing yeah so today when we woke up today i felt like the 1980s the 1970s the 1820s, the 60s, I feel like all time was like collapsing on top of one another. And um, it was strange because when I woke up this morning, I don't know, I just felt so out of place. I didn't, I didn't feel like we were positioned in the universe the way we were before. I feel like things aren't fixed anymore. I feel like everything has become permeable. You know, everything is movable. Mm -hmm. And um, and so <laughs> it's funny thinking about it, but Ernest, he gets the brunt of when I have these awakenings. He's, he's usually the first one to experience these awakenings, mm -hmm. okay? And so <laughs> today, I... I I guess I trigger him and he he responded about some veggie sausages and oh. I'm just trying stuff out. <laughs> I didn't intend I'm gonna tell you how this fits in. I didn't really intend on sharing them because I'm just trying it out to see if my body is gonna react to it, you know, in a harmonious way or not. So it's like okay, let me try them out for a couple of days, you know. If I'm good and then you want some, of course, I'm like, hey, you know, you can get you some of these or whatever. So anyway, he was just like, uh, them sausages, is there some left in there? And I was like, yeah, there's some left in there. And then, but that's, I have to translate the way he talks. And so I was like, let me translate that. Are you saying that 
you notice these veggie sausages you have never seen in the freezer before and you would like to eat some well i mean did you just buy them for you um yeah i i, t all right, I tell you what i just get a hundred dollars and give me some stuff I, I swear to god it was just like that yeah just like that it's like um probably way more energy yeah way way more firing off on my end I was like, um, babe, why, why did I trigger you so much right there? What happened? What just happened? Nothing. What you mean? Nothing. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm like, but your energy's not telling me you're fine. What just happened? What just happened there? Because I just, I just hit a heart to heart with him. And I told Ernest, I said, Ernest, I was like, I need to lay down and meditate for another hour or so before I get up and start my day. At this point, it's already 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. You know, and I know he, I, he's wanting to cut the yard and do stuff while the opportunity was there. So it was calling for him to come out of his routine and come into his heart. And I was just like, I need to do this. So I need you to hold the house down while I do this. This is hard for me because I feel like y'all function better when I'm in the mix than when I'm not. And I feel like I need to be in the mix with you all. You know, to help y'all. Otherwise, I hear arguing in the house. I hear this. I hear that. And it's just, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm having to, your spiritual practice for you right now may be a situation similar to this. Where you're having to enforce these boundaries. And you're having to say, I need this time. I need this time. Mm -hmm. And then, the other person may be like, well, dog, I had plans and da 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 and then that's when I was able to draw him back down from his mind into his heart and say, now, you're talking to the woman who sacrificed everything for anybody. I didn't even charge for readings. Like everything that I've given my whole life it has been give, 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 give to where it drained the life out of me. I was like, the reason why my body is shutting down because I need this time. I need someone to say, you don't have to carry my weight. You don't have to carry my burdens. I'm here to be assistance to you. And this is why you are in my life. I need this. My body will not heal at the capacity that I know that it can until I am relieved of this. If I'm always being connected to everything and everybody and what everybody needs and y'all have to think i'm doing the, i'm dealing with the family stuff empathically but then i have my soul tribe empathically that i'm connected to too so even when i'm not with y'all i'm getting messages i'm getting visions i'm seeing certain things happening certain things y'all going through i'm all through the day i'm you know communicating stuff to him just out the blue i just bust out and say something and he just he got used to it and he's like oh, okay you i got you so it's a lot of energy that I'm responsible for and, and learning how to maintain and have balance. And I'm just like, I know you want to cut Thank the yard. You, <laughs> you know, all of that. We just had a heart to heart. Yeah. An hour after the heart to heart, we in the kitchen. It, was it probably it was wasn't even an hour, hour maybe yep. 20 minutes. Yep, maybe 30 minutes or so. And I'm having to explain to him, babe, your program. This is your program. Yeah. This is your program. So you'll tell me, it's okay. It's okay. I want you to heal. I want you to be better. This, that, and the other. I'm if the kids you, yeah. eat something that's mine, yeah. don't eat her stuff. That's hers. You should have asked for it. But, but me, your man, <laughs> I ain't got to do none of that shit. Mm -hmm. I called him out on it. You know? And when I called him out on it, it triggered him. So this is what I realized was happening. We are, Maya, the illusion is breaking down. And this is what we asked for. I'm sick of the matrix. I don't, I don't want to deal with the blue pill. I don't want to live in a dream. Give it to me straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to wake up from this shit. Well, it's here. And I was told to tell you all today that Maya, a.k.a. the illusion, it is cracking. And today, I saw Ernest as numbers. So when his program came up, I didn't even see him anymore. I saw numbers like in the Matrix. Shit was tripping me out. I'm standing in the kitchen like, this shit is crazy. This, when you, the more you work your inner eye, the more visualizations that happen when you're not even meditating. 
you'll be seeing light you'll be see i mean it's no limit to what you'll see whether your eyes are open or closed but it's just working that inner eye it is working with you have to work with your inner eye y'all listen to me the illusion is breaking down you will not be able to survive because your bullshit all of your bullshit and all the bullshit in the world is coming to the surface. Mm -hmm. So this is what I was shown. It was just like, you know how like a whole lot of really pretty people and then all of the plastic surgery just melts. That's what it looked like. And I was being shown things for what they really were. And we've been asking to have things authentic, to become our authentic selves but what's on the other side of that looks ugly to us because it's not what we're used to. So as the illusion is breaking down, we're giving less fucks in how we deal with people, but it is a sacred purpose. So you have to use it for that. So this is all about you. This, is, this has nothing to do with nobody else. This is the soul work that you are doing within yourself. The illusion is breaking down. The, all the illusions. All of the shit, I had to tell Ernest today, that's an illusion. That is a filter. That is a lie. That is not true. This is a program. You are capable. You are capable of doing way more than you ever knew. You are reaching your highest potential. And it had a hold on him so tough where he, he was like, I don't, where you see that at? And I began just running it down. Like, mm -hmm. Now, let me run down to you the things to be grateful for. Let me run down to you the things that you have accomplished. Let me run down. We ain't even had a ceremony yet. We've accomplished more in our relationship as far as the alchemical process of a divine masculine and feminine energy coming together and creating something healthy. Let me run down to you how big of a deal that is. Let me run down to you how many men, even though you resist me, you're learning how to surrender to the divine feminine to guide you and lead you. So when you come into a Christ consciousness, you have to realize that the energy of Mary Magdalene or the energy of Mary the mother, this is the triple goddess, the triple dark goddess is going to be there with you in that transformation. But a lot of us are asking for stuff and we're not willing to see ourselves so that we can see it through. That's good. Yeah. So don't look at it as, oh my goodness, my relationship is falling apart. Oh my goodness, we're going to get a divorce. Oh my goodness, I'm having to move out with my family and I'm probably going to have to go no contact. Don't look at it as something that's breaking down. It's all in the perspective. Look at it as things are being rearranged because earth is being reattuned so that we can manifest heaven on earth so that we can get rid of the illusions the fake shit i mean everything the fake food everything we're being pressed to go back and learn how to grow stuff learn how to identify real food learn how to develop taste buds for real food we're having everything is taking us back to the basics but you have to know much is given much is required now you can go get a loaf of bread from the store but back in the day they had to get the meal they had to get the wheat they had to grow it they had to wait and harvest the grains they had to break them down with the stone and the meal by hand with concrete like mm -hmm. things were really difficult mm -hmm. so this is the price to pay for the um the much easier way of living that we have the convenience, yeah. we're paying for the convenience so in our conversation today from that meditation last night and from my experience on the ship with the arturians i realized what has happened and i also realized this i'm gonna give y'all something and then i'm gonna read this to you and i'm gonna introduce you all to the energy of the hathors and i'm gonna introduce you to a teacher you may not know about and i'm we're actually gonna play the meditation for you because i know that this is gonna wake up some ancient ancient information in some of y'all dna a lot let me work my way through it okay so as the illusion is breaking down okay you you have to position yourself to stop saying things one way we are multi-dimensional so we are multi-faceted nothing is one way nothing is as it seems okay Please practice your visualizations. 
practice your meditation y'all we got to do this every day this has to become just the way of life for us this is just the air that we breathe you know this is a way of life this is this is very serious because we're part of a collective that's healing and i know sometimes you might not feel like the little work you're doing on yourself in your own program is healing a whole collective of people but it is you know there is no sentient being that you can separate from the law of one um, we all have an impact on each other and it, it's no different than in nature if you cut down all the trees it has an impact on everything in the ecosystem you are a whole fucking universe we got to stop belittling ourselves but then at the same time going into pride and arrogance when we deal with people like we are the only ones who are allowed to fuck up and can't nobody else slip up with us and say shit we don't like, don't rub it. Like we didn't get into this real non-tolerant and, and, and it's not being in your heart. And you can feel it because it's it just, you feel you become irrational. You're cold. not making sense. You be cold. This is, that is the old earth. And so you might want to write this down. This is what they told me. They said, I was giving gratitude for the pain in my body. And they said, huh, you're getting it now. And I was like, okay, I must just see something right. Okay, what do you mean? They said, gratitude is no longer a vibration. Gratitude is a location. Mm -hmm. I was like, whoa, wait, mm -hmm. take that back. Mm -hmm. Gratitude is not a vibration that you simply try to reach for. It is a location. It is becoming dense. Gratitude is gaining density and it's becoming a location it is becoming a place so, so what's going to happen it. is we're mm -hmm. all on the same earth but the people who are practicing finding gratitude all throughout your day this ain't just one meditation you do once a week all day long find something to be grateful for just make it a part of your lifestyle by doing that you are taking a vibration and putting mass to it and turning it into an actual location so the new heaven and earth is us taking these higher vibrations, giving mass to them by allowing our own density to be transmuted and transformed so that we can anchor this energy and it's gonna create a location, which was called Eden. Paradise, the land of milk and honey. All of these are alchemical symbols for what is happening in each and every one of us and what is also happening on a universal level okay so gratitude is no longer just a vibration but it is becoming a location so some people will be on the same earth that you are on but because they don't get in the vibration of gratitude they don't experience the location of gratitude they don't experience all of the beautiful things that happen in this place but they in the same time and space as you are Y'all understand what I'm saying? So it's like a cup inside of a cup. Okay? Um, next thing. Speak to your body. <laughs> this chakra meditation, I knew, I know it's going to be a big deal. And I know one day somebody probably going to play this video back. I'm like, oh my God, you playing that shit from this many years ago because I feel like it's going to be this big of a deal. But it, it 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 breaks down the illusion and whatever it is about how the arcturians gave this to me it breaks down the illusion it's what it's gonna do okay and a lot of ancient kemet rituals were used to break down illusion the alchemical process turning base lead to gold breaking down the illusion that's really what all of this was and they kind of gave me a shortcut so last night I just out the blue was like, Ernest, when was the last time you told your dick you loved it? <laughs> he was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I tell my Yoni I love her all the time. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I, I don't even think I ever told my dick I love it. Why, why wouldn't you? Yeah. You, you have, you have so something <laughs> that can give birth to hey, life you, that can not, create. Yeah. That's, that's real though. and you and you express no love for it so that means yeah. you're treating it like an object you're treating it like a thing 
that has no importance. But it's so important that it's created to be steeples on the top of all the churches. It's so important that the frequency and the shape it's so important that there are even some ancient teachings that say the practice of bringing your third eye from your third eye to your, to the head of your penis will actually transmute and it will change the type of souls that you create when you make babies. It is so important. This is the journey within. When Maya the illusion breaks down, the journey within happened. And so for me, I realized that we don't even give gratitude to the sacred, most divine parts of us, we have allowed the world and their perspective of things to mm -hmm. give us a manual in how to treat our temple. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if this is return of Christ's consciousness, if you are seeking to merge with, you, with your higher self, which is your Holy Spirit, then that means that you must begin treating sacred what you have not. So why wouldn't you say, I love you to my breast. I love you to my circulatory system. Thank you for functioning for me. I, I seem like I fucked up everything else in my life, but you're still working right now. So if I can't find anything else to be appreciative for that it's functioning properly, mm -hmm. thank you, circulatory system. Mm -hmm. Thank you, lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. Thank you, endocrine system. I don't even fully understand all of the damn glands, but I'm trying to decalcify my third eye, my pineal gland. That's really all I know right now. Like there are so there is so much mercy and grace for us that they are totally okay with that being the only thing that we know. Mm -hmm. They are like it's okay. It's okay that that's all you know. And so many of us have been trying so hard to be scholars that we're not even practicing the simple things, the basic things that we've learned because we're trying to be scholars. We're trying to study and read every book, listen to every lecture, get every point right. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of us, we're not doing videos. Maybe we're being told to start doing videos. Maybe we're being told to do a meditation. And I don't know, mm -hmm. just put it out. You, and whatever it is you're being told, a lot of us are not moving on it because we're feeling like we got to reach this level of perfection before we present it to the world. And that's still being an ego because that means you don't want anybody to judge what you're doing as being um, not right or inaccurate or wrong. So now you're not allowing other people to feel how they want to feel about you, which means that you invite more of that disallowance and that restriction of not being able to feel how you feel. So now you disconnected from yourself. Y'all see how it, it all, it's all moving parts. So you want to talk to your body. Talk to your feet. Thank you, feet. And really mean that shit. Like, thank you, feet. Because some people woke up this morning and found out they had gangrene from stepping on a nail and had to get their damn foot removed. And I have both of my feet. Thank you. Thank you, legs. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you, body, for just being with me when I'm toxic as hell. And I and it's all coming to the surface. And it's this self-love, this spiritual awakening. I ain't even trying to do shadow work. And shadow shit just come up to the surface because I'm in the age of Aquarius. And this is what's supposed to happen in the awakening. Thank you, body, for dealing with all this poison. Gratitude. It's becoming a location, not just a vibration. So know that with that teaching, as above, so below, you have, you know, you have the, the laws of the universe as well, the law of correspondence. So on the other end of that is, what vibration are you giving density to and making it a location? You could just be in a vibration of, I don't know, what's a, a negative vibration we get in? Selfishness. Selfishness. That's good. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You give density to the vibration of selfishness. Now that become a location that you cannot <laughs> get away from. Everywhere you go, that damn location show up. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Mm -hmm. You are creating a location. We are giving. Have, we are being given increased power, and with this increased power is a lot of excitement. But we must realize the responsibility that comes with that. You have to be more responsible for what comes up, what comes out your mouth, what thoughts you allow to marinate, what what patterns you um, express to other people. You just have to be aware of yourself. Okay, this 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 just got to be a way of life. 
next thing. They gave us this, and then we're going to play the meditation after he reads to you who the Hathors. the Hathors are and Tom Kenyon. Okay, if you never heard of him. I hope this is good. If this is touching y'all and reaching y'all, let us know. Give us some likes. You know what I'm saying? I see the likes going up. So mm -hmm. I hope I knew this was gonna be a big deal. To those who this is supposed to reach, this is going to be transformative. I swear to you. And you and we y'all ain't even got the meditation yet, but just this entrance into it. it just just wait. Just it's wait resonate. for it. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was the light code that they gave us from what happened with us today. <clears throat> they said this light codes are keys to freedom opposition is an oppression opposition is an opportunity let me give it to you again this is a light code which is a key to your freedom opposition is an oppression opposition is an opportunity that's a powerful ass statement Yes. You're not gonna find that in no book, nowhere. Did like I said, this is this is just me being an oracle and channeling this ancient wisdom, mm -hmm. this energy of Sophia. So, but this came through Ernest. Stop. This came through him scrubbing the inside of my seashell, creating pearls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and 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 basically is to stop avoiding conflict because I was that type of person um, in in my way of just being is like eh, conflict i ain't got no energy for conflict but how will solutions come about if there is no conflict so whether it's internal conflict whether it's external conflict you gotta go through it stop running from it that's that's that is a program that we've probably been conditioned for so long from our upbringings that avoid conflict at all costs you know what i'm saying but yeah. Nah, I think we are learning and, and we, we dealt with it and, and we discussed it earlier um, that that is where a lot of our greater lessons come from. And, and we really, man, we really, you know what I'm saying, get to the place of knowing ourselves better as well as just being whole, coming into being whole. And that's the whole purpose. Stop avoiding conflict. Yeah. That's conflict with yourself. Yes. <clears throat> if it's something physical on your body you don't like right now, lay your hands on and rub it and say, thank you. This is the fattest damn roll I ever found in my life up I under the side of my arm and I love you and I don't know what the hell you hanging over here for but you gotta be hanging on for a reason so thank you right yep. you know yep. you have to be radical with this with this energy because this energy is so high we got we got the energy of beetle geese coming in which is from the belt of Orion this energy is so high that this energy just it co it's coming in like a train is how I feel it and it's for some people, it's gonna to be too much and they just gonna go the other way and you'll go back into the illusion, okay? So for those of you who wanna come out of the illusion, that means that you have to feel things you never felt before. I cried this morning, I hardly ever cried. And I broke down and cried and was like, oh my God, I just realized why my body's shutting down because my whole damn life, I have taken care of everybody around me. I have never been taken care of. Even when I'm sick and in the hospital, I have had to fight off physician and, and nurses who had just such terrible stereotypes about black people and sickle cell patients that some of them would either overdose me intentionally and I would have a seizure and end up in ICU, or some of them would just not give me any pain medicine and let me lay there and suffer and I would cry until my eyes swole shut until I couldn't breathe. I, I'm. I'm dead serious. Y'all have no clue. Y'all have only heard bits and pieces. I really need a movie for what I've been through. Like I really want, I really want people to get the visual of what I have experienced. And I, and the power of it is, I have experienced such hatred and such negativity and so many attempts on my life 
It's so crazy. And I, I'm like, I'm like this walking beam of love. I don't understand. Like people be coming for me. I'm, I'm sick and I'm on my back at my weakest and I'm still having to be a warrior. It's, it was just, it made no sense, but it never shifted me out of love. It never shifted me out of love to where I could love on the most hateful person. And I realized that it's, it, love is what transforms hell. And we are living in hell on earth right now. And only love will be able to transform hell on earth to heaven. So I want to explain to you the opposition, not being the oppression. I have never looked at opposition as oppression. This is was this obviously was aligned with my life purpose and what I came here to teach. Whatever it feels like opposition to you right now, that is not what's oppressing you. What's oppressing you is the way you respond to the opposition. <coughs> Take accountability for that. Okay. You have two families. You have two families and they are starving and need water. And there's this wall that has been constructed. And this wall is the only thing that's in the way of a stream that the two families can clearly hear on the other side of the wall. You know that it is there. And you know if there is a source of moving water there, that there is life and there's life there, there's food. One father walks up to the wall and says, shit, it's an 80 foot wall right here. I have no ladder, nothing. He tell his family, look, I'm sorry, I can't do nothing. It's an 80 foot wall right here. I don't have no tools, no ladder, no nothing. And they go back and die slowly, painfully. You have the other father that says, I'm not finna let my family die. I, shit, I'm not finna die. It's a stream right over this wall. I don't give a fuck how tall this wall is. We getting there. Mm -hmm. The new earth is calling for people with mentality of the second situation. To where you see the wall, you see your issues, you see the world's issues, you see all this shit you never seen before because you waking up, but you like, you know what? I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get over this wall, but I'm gonna get over this wall because I know what's on the other side of this is exactly what I need. And this is the only thing standing in between me and that. I'm not gonna go watch my family die slowly. That's some coward ass shit. Fuck that. At least if they die, they go die while I was trying to scale this wall. And when I leave this body, I'll know that I left and I came and I was willing to die to feed my family. This is the mentality of the new earth. Because the higher dimensional beings don't see opposition the way we do. So the reason why a lot of us are dealing with so much opposition is because the way that we see it and perceive it is, is needing to be transformed so that we can ascend to the new earth. Okay. Now that I got that out, <laughs> it's a lot. I hope y'all taking notes or something because this is, this is or you can just play it back or watch play it, it back yeah. and then take some notes yeah okay the next thing shadow work for those of you who has been asking questions i'm doing shadow work seems like i ain't having no breakthroughs seems like i'm the same motherfucker i was when i first started oh shit <laughs> okay that's how you feeling i understand mm -hmm. yeah do you know gotta try not to cuss because People keep saying I can't cuss on YouTube. I don't know. I don't give a fuck, but I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm trying. But again, let me explain something to you. When I cried to Ernest today, when I finally realized why what happened to my body happened to my body in this incarnation, it hurted me so bad because it was almost as if I've been self-harming and committing suicide by loving and giving to other people to the point of killing myself slowly. And that hurt. That was a very difficult truth. That was a bigger appeal. And I had to swallow that one, okay? And when I did, 
then information came through to me to Ernest in the exact same manner. And his reaction was down face. He became downcast and dropped his head. I said, baby, why you drop your head? Just saying like I just... And I said, let me tell you something. When divinity give you a key to unlock something about you by revealing something to you that hurts to look at, know that that is a key that will unlock you from your prison. This is what you ask for. And I told him, if we view the keys that show us ourselves, and if we treat them grudgingly, source will not give you more keys to free you from your prison because you shitted on something that was sacred. So when you discover fucked up shit, about your upbringing, your family, yourself, your spouse, your children. How do you treat that shit? Because I'm here to tell you that it is a key. It is not shit. It is not trash. That is a key to free you. Make shit muffins. And so we came up with shit muffins. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> Ernest, today... I was not expecting this. We had a heart to heart and you didn't slung shit on me. So I'm going to do what I do best and I'm going to make some shit muffins. And we both started laughing and I was like, that's really what it is, what we've been trying to do. We've been trying to take shit and make muffins out of them. But maybe you just need to acknowledge that it's shit and be like, well, shit is a good fertilizer. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Well, all right. I'm in this shit. It must go fertilize something to help me grow. It's just shifting your perspective, adding a little humor to it. Right. You know? Taking, taking something that is bad and making something good out of it. That's all it is. If you want to call it bad or just, you know, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to know how to treat your shit sacred as you're on this journey of spiritual awakening, self-realization, self-actualization, what you're going to do is when you get this key, whatever it is that comes up okay you may realize that you're way more depressed than you thought you were and it might make you feel ashamed and you know like this is ridiculous you know what i'm saying like i ain't been out of bed in two days I, this quarantine shit bring a lot of shit to the surface because when you ain't got to force yourself to go to school and go to work and take the kids to school like your shit can really come to the surface because you don't have all that other stuff distracting you okay so this is how you treat these keys these are keys when people be looking for the holy grail and treasures and all that shit and indiana jones and the temple of all that shit is about us and what happens inside of our consciousness and inside of the universe within us so when you get this key whatever it is that come up for you when it finally come up especially the shit that don't feel good when it come up you want to celebrate it give gratitude I told Ernest today, baby, did you know this stuff yesterday? No. Well, you should be sure. celebrating. Yeah. Because you just got another brick pulled out of the wall that's blocking you from getting where you want to be. The second thing that you can do, yeah, is write it down, whatever came up, and give an offering to your ancestors for the breakthrough key. Yeah. And then ask them for some help to unlock the locks that that key fits. Because after you get the key and what I would call soul alchemy, which is what, what is happening with us. After you get the key, then you have to figure out which lock it fits. And you're probably discovering new lock compartments within yourself every day because we are. 44, 44. Wow. 44, 44, 44. Y'all see that? Can somebody screenshot that? That is freaking awesome. Okay, we back. Okay. We live. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think the, the channel information and we need to get to y'all where you can apply to your life and get transformation is free. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just can't make this shit up. Mm -hmm. 
the, mm-hmm. the numbers don't lie. You you know, it is what it is. Facts, so facts. the way that I came across uh, the way that I came across Tom Kenyon was after I started giving gratitude for all of the shit to get on my nerves today until I really felt it was a freaking location. You know, it's like no, I'm mm-mm. I refuse to give up. And so I went back to my um, Remnants Gathering playlist that I created for us on all of the stuff that we be coming across. Thank y'all for the donations. We see the donations coming through. I shade. Thank mm-hmm. you. And so as I'm going through, you know, I'm going through just giving gratitude for each part of my body. Um, then I went back to the playlist and I was like, well, let me figure out what, what sounds I could use. And of course, ohm is always the first sound you can go to to use for some sound healing. Mm-hmm. And so when I went to that, that led me to Tom Kenyon, somebody I had never heard of before, but I'm scrolling through the comments on the sacred vowel sounds and the sound of ohm. And I'm wanting to deep, more deeply understand the way it impacts the body. And um, I come across Tom Kenyon, and somebody's like, hey, had you ever heard of Tom Kenyon? You might want to look him up. So I'm like, okay, let me look him up. Y'all want to look this man up. Oh, my goodness. He, his sound meditations that come from his mouth is what I would call a voice box. These are people who have the gift of making sounds of, of vehicles, animals. He can make sounds of anything. It's so amazing. But he had a samadhi experience at the age of 12. This is a white boy growing up in Carolina somewhere, sitting out on the um, pasture with cows. And he was sing to the sun and to the moon. It's just what he did as a kid. And at the age of 12, his hands went into mudras, which he had no idea what that was. He sat in lotus position and he had an instant kundalini awakening where everything around him fell away. So the whole illusion of Maya, the whole, the whole projection of what we think we can see all disappeared. And he was in this vast nothingness. And he had these spirit guides and these other things happen. And they were just basically communicating to him that the sounds that you're going to make are going to heal so many people. So we're going to play the meditation for the heart okay because the heart is the gateway to everything and this is why for many of us the heart that's been a challenge yeah like being in your heart every day is a challenge oh yeah because you want to get in people's ass and your higher self like nope you need to get in your heart no i want to get in the ass but no you need to get in your heart that's the struggle for a lot of us yeah yeah i mean society is It's not the way of society. You know what I'm saying? Society is a, is a lot more just cutthroat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So putting your heart out there, you know, yeah. So, but it's changing. And yeah. And it has shifted. It is. It's shifting to it the is. point to where, no, now we need to be in our heart space. It's safe. Yeah. Yeah. It's safe to be in our heart space. We got a lot of help, y'all. We got yeah. a lot of dimensional, interdimensional help. Oh, that's okay. Oh, cool. awesome. See? See? Yeah. So, we're going to tell you all who the Hathors are, if you don't know, uh, from Tom Kenyon. Uh, Ernest is going to read to you who they are, because these are the ones who brought these specific sounds to him. To him okay? And then we're going to play the meditation. And I'm telling you, it is going to take you on a journey within okay a journey within and i'm gonna tell you after he read this before we play it i'm gonna tell y'all what i saw and then i think a channel message is gonna come through me after you all hear this to translate this to each of you in a way because this is going to activate dormant dna through the heart chakra okay this is what you can expect to happen with this okay and so what i'm gonna read uh uh this this is coming from Tom Kenyon's website. It's just Tom, T-O-M, Kenyon, K-E-N-Y-O-N.com. Um, because I'm not going to read all of it. You know what I'm saying? So you can definitely go there. Um, who are the Hathors? The Hathors say that they are a group of interdimensional, intergalactic beings who were connected ancient Egypt 
through the temples of the goddess Hathor, as well as several other prehistory cultures. In the late 1980s, I was contacted by them during meditation and they began to instruct me in the vibratory nature of the cosmos. The use of sacred geometry as a mean to stimulate brain performance and in the use of sound to activate psycho spiritual experiences. While I was intrigued with the information, I was at the time uncomfortable with their self-described origins. I was after all a practicing psychotherapist and involved in brain research at the time. In short, I was a rationalist, and these beings, whoever they were and wherever they came from, did not fit into my views of reality at the time. In the nearly 20 years since first contact, I have tried and tested their inner technologies many times and have always found both their methods and their perspectives illuminating. While the Hathors do offer information in the form of language, their primary mode of communication is through catalytic sound patterns. These sounds are channeled through my voice during sound meditations, which I often offer during workshop, workshops and retreats. I personally find it interesting that my vocal range has expanded, along with my mind, I might add, in the years that I have been working with them. When I started, I had a range of nearly three octaves, now it is just shy of four. This extended vocal range only occurs when I am actually channeling sound from other dimensions. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And then skip down to about here. Let me see. Okay. Right here. Okay. We are what you might term an ascended civilization. These are the Hathors. A group of beings existing at a specific vibratory field, even as you have an energy signature. It is simply that we vibrate at a faster rate than you. Nonetheless, we are all part of the mystery, part of the love that holds and binds all the universe together. We have grown as you have grown, ascending to the one source of all that is. We have grown in joy and through sorrow as you have. We are, in terms of the vastness, a little higher on the spiral of awareness and consciousness than you are. Therefore, we can offer you what we have learned as friends, mentors, and fellow travelers on the path that leads back to remembrance of all that is. Hmm. This was interesting. Very. Check this. We are not saviors. We're not messianic. We want to clearly step out of that projection so that the reader understands that we are simply elder brothers and sisters offering our understanding and what we have learned. You may take it or leave it, but we offer it freely. In our understanding, the belief that different alien intelligences are going to save you is just a projection of human unconsciousness. Mm. The hope that someone or something will save you, that you will not have to make any changes in yourself, that you will not have to be responsible is unrealistic. The belief that you can stay in patterns of lethargy and unconsciousness, then take something or have something given to you that will transform you without any effort on your part is sheer folly. It won't happen. Now, there may be alien intelligences that land, for they certainly exist, but those humans who count on others to bring in their ascension and elevation without any work on their part are going to be very disappointed. Mm -hmm. Ascension is a process of self-awareness and mastery on all levels, and it, ne and, and it necessitates bringing all those levels of one's existence upward. That is how we see it, and that is how we have done it for millennia. By offering our aid, however, we do not wish to interfere with your own spiritual, with your other spiritual helpers and cosmic relationships in any way, nor with any religious beliefs, affiliations, or organizations of help to you. Even so, there is a great deal we would like to share. Mm. <clears throat> so, so these Hathors um this is just how their energy 
has been working and what it's been doing um helping us so i know that that probably touched some of you in a special place because it did for me um and so you can go to his website and read more about this they have given him more information since then uh, we just wanted to introduce you to this energy uh, these beings are here you know they are assisting us and again this is a vibratory energetic field thing so if you have not been visualizing or meditating, that's okay. We're going to play this for you. And when I first listened to it, I found myself being judgmental at first. Then I found myself being acting like I was in first grade and being like, that crazy ass noise. Why his jaw look like that? Just, <laughs> just oh, I can only imagine what his face looked like. Okay, I went through like these phases, you know, um, of immaturity. And then all of a sudden, the energy hit me from the sound frequency, and I couldn't move. And everything was saying surrender, and I just surrendered to it. Mm. And the sounds that he was making, I could see light, like like my neural system was lighting up. It was like I had been needing to hear these frequencies and the, all of the bullshit that interferes and blocks it including our own thought forms and attachments and entities and beings i mean it just goes on and on and on and i couldn't hear this and so my neural network wasn't lighting up in the areas where it needs to for the awakening to take place the way it needs to so as you're hearing this you can now visualize now these neural networks is going to excite them and it's going to light up areas that have not been light up before since before you incarnated into into earth okay um um after that happened then i started just feeling this really i felt like i could almost see myself in villages and all of a sudden all of my past lives eclipsed and I, I was seeing me as a man, me as a child, me as a woman, me as a man. It was crazy. And it was just going so fast. And it's like time was just lapsing in as I was listening to him. And I, I said, this is the illusion again. This is Maya. This the illusion is fading away under this vi vibratory field that he is creating. And I'm, I'm telling you, I went on a journey. And it felt like my heart had just expanded bigger. It felt like the, the the auric field from my heart grew astronomically to the point where it was almost like I could see chariots flying over earth, seeing this bright beam of light coming from our house in our neighborhood and being like another one just hit this specific vibratory field that they need to be in. It's like they're watching to see how many of us are tapping in and truly going within and truly allowing the illusion to just be released everything that you think you know you know you know nothing we know nothing it's it's so vast we know nothing we're just a drop in in the ocean and when you acknowledge that and you allow yourself to merge with this oneness there's no need for you to know nothing there's no like you just your need to just know you need all it just falls away and you just it just melts you into the experience and so after that happened then i started seeing this tree this huge tree root growing down in the earth like in inner earth and then it came up through the 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 um the layers of earth and then this huge root when it came up through the ground on earth then it broke through kind of like um jack and the beanstalk mm -hmm. it was like that and i'm holding on to this to this root that's growing that's becoming this huge tree and it's moving so fast and i'm holding on and at one point i just kind of get down like this and i could just and soon as i like duck my head down in the meditation which i had never heard before he made this wind sound with his mouth 
and it was crazy. It was like, cause that's exactly what I felt like was happening. I was holding on to this tree and this wind, and then he said, Whew, and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> it was just, it was so crazy. But if you if you give in to the inner eye and you give in to the inner child and allow the imagination to take you somewhere, it will take you somewhere. But you have to relax and allow it and be open to it and be open to being creative and allow the creative the feminine side of your mind to uh, open that inner eye and allow you to see if you don't see anything you just feel something that's okay if you don't neither that's okay keep listening to this we're going to make sure that we repost this mm -hmm. so that you can keep listening to it because i have specifically been told that this needs to become a part of our regimen mm -hmm. and that we're going to see the fruits of this and so as I'm on this tree, this tree become, go from being in the earth to on earth to a cosmic tree. And then the branches begin to sprout once the base of the tree had grew. The branches began sprouting and the ends of the branches of the tree became galaxies. So it was like the branch was spiraling the way it does when a plant grows, but it was a galaxy instead of just a branch y'all can see that and then on the branch were like these flowers blossoming and these flowers were different planets so it was like a universal galactic tree and by the time it was finished it was like in the shape of this swirl and, and it encompassed everything known and unknown that we can see and can't see is within this tree and this tree is like this circuitry from source. And y'all, no mushrooms, no ayahuasca, nothing. Just the sounds. The sounds triggered that part of your brain when you do do shrooms or ayahuasca. And, and when you, and a lot of us can't afford to do that. A lot of us kind of scared to do that. A lot of us don't know nobody we can trust to do that. Thank you for the donation, I say. So, let the sound access that part of your brain, okay? And you can just continue to use it and listen to it as it do. And we're going to share the link, okay? So we're going to play this for y'all. And again, his website is TomKenyon.com. I recommend closing your eyes, okay? Close your eyes, open your chest, and just listen. Try not to judge anything. Where there is judgment, no judgment.
gotta sit on that one for a minute. So, you probably went on a journey. You probably felt feelings, sensations. You probably heard thoughts, words, ideas, sounds. Probably had memories. Um, you probably had moments where it reminded you of paintings that you've seen, or maybe reminded you. I kept being reminded of Ava Maria for some reason. Like the energy from the song Ava Maria was coming through for me this time. It's like, okay, that's interesting. But again, the the less judgmental you are in meditation and visualization, the more it shows itself to you. Okay, mm. tears. There we go. Now, with the sounds that he was making, could you feel it hitting your root chakra the, when he went to the low tones and went really low? It was like root chakra, and it was just, it just feels like, for me, it feels like on a collective level, this is just breaking up stuff that has been hurting us. It's like pulling splinters out of our feet so that we can walk again. Pulling the pieces of glass out of your feet that you stepped on so you can walk again. And then as I saw this happening for everybody who listens to this, oh, I felt a wave, a wave. And they were just like, you all are creating a wave. Keep doing this, keep doing this, don't stop. You are creating a wave. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean creating a wave? Creating a wave of what? And then I saw a desert and I saw everything in the desert had died and it was nothing but bones in this desert. And it died because the river that ran through the desert was no longer there anymore. It had dried up. And, and what happened was we were all standing in this desert and it began with one person and someone jumped and landed in the sand and it became a droplet of water and every other person just jumped and landed in the sand and it created a puddle of water and then the puddle of water became an oasis and the oasis became a full-fledged moving stream so with every person who watches this who's here now who listens to this no matter when what year what it don't matter it created a stream of consciousness and just you giving your attention to this is going to create this river to go through this wilderness where everything had died because there was no more moving fresh water. Each person's attention that is directed to this, it becomes a droplet in this stream to create this river that will bring life back to an area that used to be beautiful. That's what I saw. It would be like watching ancient Kemet come back. That's what I saw stream of consciousness is created by each one of us choosing what to give our attention to tom yeah. kenyon tom kenyon yes mm -hmm. absolutely um now earlier i was told to tell y'all this i don't know who's suppressing being weird somebody's still suppressing some weirdness somewhere your weirdness is equivalent to some of the weird sounds that he was making and so the way that we act behave dress think do um what we decide to do to make money all of that it creates a a, a vibration and and on a collective level we need these tones that have never been heard before so weirdness when somebody call you weird or strange or feel like you just crazy that's great because you are what you are doing is you're causing a tone that people around you have never heard before and they don't know how to respond but to call it crazy or weird but we need in order to change things because we have become these clones we need these Thomas. new tones to come in to shift the dimensions on earth so this is why now you have people you have people who are full-fledged like i'm an elf and and they got the little spiky ears you can order and they put them on and wear them every single day to embody what an really? elf looks like that is necessary because we have become clones everybody wears suits and ties and most people don't even know what the hell a suit and tie is and where it came from they don't know nothing about it 
And it's just like, we just do, this is what we were taught to do. And so in order to shift things, they need our weird tones. So don't expect people to accept it or be okay with it as long as you're okay with it. This is the only way it's going to shift. Otherwise, um, it's like, um, it's like, um, you know, like moonstone crystals or opals and how when the light hit in a certain way, you see all these other colors and stuff you didn't see before. This is what we're doing. So when you be weird or when you just let your crazy be seen, that's a big deal. You're doing what Tom Kenyon was doing with sound and you're doing it with living out loud. So living your highest expression as you go through this, you, you, even me just, just putting even like before black Panther ended it, I, I was weird anyway. And I would do shit like this. And I didn't know why I was doing it, you know, and it's, but it speaks to people. It, it awakens something within you when you see this visual of what I am choosing to present to you. So use your avatar. It is a chalkboard. Use it the way it needs to. And you don't have to be as, as strange as one or another. This is no comparison. But we need these new tones to shift. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. Is this is this resonating with you all? You know, let let us I know how you, you feeling. Yeah. yeah. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Look at the love. Yes, the Mongolian throat chanting. Yes, absolutely. And it is, and look how it's, it's all coming through this white boy who don't even know. So this just goes to show you, even though we talk about race, and sometimes race is um, important, ethnicity is important. However, we are transcending that. And what's happening is because a lot of us are just in, in black avatars right now, but we really could be Mongolian. You know, like we, we choose to come in a lot of different suits to get things accomplished. Yeah. But when you try to suppress who you are and when the core of yourself is wanting to come out and you're not letting it, and you're like, no, I can't do that. Well, everybody else got two eyebrows, so I probably shouldn't shave one off and wear one eyebrow this week. You might just be like, I don't know. I need to wear one eyebrow this week. Don't question it. Just mm -hmm. just follow it and see where it go. Mm -hmm. See where it lead. You might walk in somewhere and every damn body might bust out laughing. And you might just heal all the people in there of something with laughter. Because your ass was brave enough to walk in there with one eyebrow because you felt like you needed to do it. Just be open to doing it. <laughs> if I show y'all what I got on at the bottom, it is so funny. It ain't none of imagine. It might not even look as bad to y'all as it looked to me when I put it on. But, you know, I got on some tennis shoes and some and some... <laughs> I don't even know. I think some llamas or something on these socks. <laughs> <laughs> and when I put it on, I was like, well, you know, we ain't in the studio or nothing. They can't see, you know, my whole. And I was like, I don't give a fuck if they can't see it all. They might need to see me with some Michael Jackson llama dollar store socks on and some pumas and some gray leggings, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's just ain't that beautiful. Don't that feel good? That you, you don't have to try to fit into what people told you is okay and acceptable and beautiful and this and that. No. I mean, that's who the highest expression of ourselves is. It don't fit into nothing. Mm -hmm. You can't take something sacred and put it put it into a vessel and be like, just have to, everybody have to be like this. It's, it's crazy. So even religion, even religion is necessary. It is a necessary step in evolution. Everything is necessary. Everything is important. And when you are able to perceive everything in your life like that, you will transcend the shit that you th thought you couldn't. So I'm telling you, let's let's stop trying to banish stuff. Every time a new moon come, you want to banish something. You know, the full, like we don't have to do that. Just just move to what resonates with you. And by you doing that, you you are creating a new heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. Baby, you want to touch on anything? I'm gonna pull some cards for us, like I always do, before I mean, we get off of here. I'm just so full with with receiving everything. I mean, today has been truly edifying for me. Yeah. I, I've I've hit my lows as usual, but you know I've, I'm always lifted back up. So you know I don't really have. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Want to get back more into Tom Kenyon? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna use my Isis Oracle deck. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish we could be on with y'all much longer. But y'all know we got the kiddos and stuff. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Pulled away from them to do this tonight. Thank you. Thank you, spirit guys. I say to all of you, those known and unknown, those we hadn't even met yet. Thank you. I say. Thank you. I say. What do you want to communicate to the collective right now? What information would you like to communicate to the collective of souls who are awakening right now? Card I never pulled before. This is interesting. I love when I pull a card I never pulled before. Okay. Y'all so damn Anubis. smart. Y'all will be able to tell us a lot. So I'm sure y'all will be like, oh, yeah, I just looked at that the other day. <laughs> and da, da, da. <laughs> Y'all be tripping us out with that. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. Now, when I look at this, though, I instantly get dark energy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like instantaneous dark energy. Instantly. It says, this card represents the brother in darkness. Whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready. Oh, Lord, I can't. Okay. When, whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. You shall overcome any negative energy with grace and triumph. Stay in your heart. Mm. There is no need to be afraid. Yep. <sighs> you, can, you can't make this up. I just read this off the back of this card. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. This is for each of us. Yep. Do y'all hear this? It's saying... Look, Stay in your heart. get in your heart. It's safe to be in your heart. It is mm. finally safe to be in your heart. What? It is safe to be in your heart. Do y'all understand that? It is safe to be in your heart. This is going to disengage your ego from just controlling so much of your life. Mm -hmm. The brother in darkness. Darkness. Darkness is not synonymous with evil. Darkness is where true life is created. Darkness represents the womb of creation. Darkness is primordial energy. It's from which we all came from. And darkness has been demonized. And so this is why when darkness come up in our life, we treat it like a demon. You don't know how else to treat it because our program says treat darkness like a demon. So this is confirmation and a build on everything that I was just saying to y'all from dealing with the Arcturians to dealing with the Hathors and bringing this energy in. The negative energy is present for us to use it and transmute it. And we are doing that. And it's saying it is safe to be in your heart. You don't have to be afraid. It is safe to be in your heart. Your heart is what's going to protect you. But I know when we came into this world, our heart is what got us hurt. The paradigm has shifted. The people who choose to live in their heart will thrive. But the people who choose not to live in their heart will not thrive. This is what we're going to see. This is why money is shifting, power is shifting. The people, the janitor who nobody pays attention to, and this janitor really does clean, I mean, to, to to their best ability because they just think that every person that uses that building is sacred and you don't even know that this janitor got all this going on in his heart while he cleaning the toilet out and he just want to make sure it is as clean as it can be for you when you sit your sacred ass on it like that this is what I'm talking about this is a shift in the paradigms that we don't have to have the illusion of power anymore. We don't have to have the titles. We don't have to have the letters. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. And I was so messed up 
about not finishing college, not getting my letters. I know that I'm capable intellectually of excelling in anything that I get in. And it's so crazy. It's like, damn, I want to go do this and I want to have a million letters behind my name. But then my body is like, nope, fuck that. You go lay in the bed and meditate today. And it's just like, ah. Uh. But at that point when I give in to the divine feminine energy and I said, you know what? Okay, mama, this is, this is energy mama. Mm -hmm. You come in, you come in to give birth, to rebirth me. Okay, I surrender. Surrender to this energy. And you ain't you ain't got all of that, but you you ain't got all of them letters, but you got all of them letters. That shit is amazing. Really? That's amazing. You you That's a doc she a doctor thing, yeah. She a doctor, you're a shaman, you're a doctor, you're a prop yeah, yeah. Thank you. Buddy. Without having to go through no school, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We know that it's all Coming, it's just coming through, being true. You've done, you're doing the work. You've done the work. Yep. Tell facts. I receive it. Thank yep. you. Facts. Thank y'all. Yeah. I receive it. Yep. I believe that. Yep. I do believe that. That's so true. Mm hmm So open your hearts. I'm gonna pull another card. <laughs> I was gonna pull the next card for the subconscious, unconscious, or the collective, and what needs to be communicated. But that came up with the Brothers of Darkness card. That is dealing with the subconscious, unconscious, which is the dark part of us. Okay, so this card that I'll pull for the collective would be, what spiritual message is there for those who are watching this now and will watch this later? Right, yeah. What spiritual message do you have for those who are watching this now and will watch this later? I'm laughing, y'all, because y'all going to have some experiences. I'm telling you, dreams, experiences, this is going to reignite your excitement with what first excited you about your spiritual awakening. Because a lot of us came out of the excited phase, and it's kind of like... Man, Got overwhelmed with the work. Yeah, like, this shit overwhelming. <laughs> like, dang. It's so much I don't know. It's so much to learn. It's so much wrong with me. Oh, it's, it's so, so much, much wrong with me. Yes. I'm so fucked up. The world's uh, so fucked up. Yes. <laughs> but we finna get a whole new reset. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Gratitude. Gratitude. Okay, so I pulled the Divine Destiny card. Okay. And then it's one other that stands out. So this card right here, this is divine destiny. The divine warrior is within you, helping you to continue with a worthy path, even during times of difficulty. When faced with a challenge, a true warrior will summon more of him or herself to the cause. And it might be by bringing more wisdom focus or intelligence or surrendering into the divine mm. the warrior within has great inner resourcefulness and determination take that one in take that take that divine destiny. that's beautiful y'all call this card out what you've been talking about having gratitude and gratitude becoming a place a location yeah that's the divine destination yes yeah this is real i'm telling you facts y'all go i'm telling y'all y'all gonna be like Woo! i gotta watch this again yep. <laughs> i say thank you yep, thank you thank yes. you my spirit guys like nope y'all didn't need a catchphrase that was it right there i yep. say infinite power thank you mm -hmm. empowerment to each person thank you I, i'll say this much and then you can go ahead Y'all, I've I've been in the place of really trying to rededicate myself to doing this shadow work, like on a whole nother level. Enough with the inconsistency, you know what I'm saying. And so I just want to say that because I know that I'm no different than nobody else. And so I know if I experience it, and you all are probably experiencing it too, you know what I'm saying. And so just resolve to rededicate yourself to doing it we at the point that it's inevitable you know what i'm saying if you if if, if you desiring to level up which i know we all are because we're here together then 
make sure that you rededicate and i just seen a comment and it just made me think of it all over again like yep that's what time yes. it is yes yeah when you realize how important you are and that nothing is mundane and even in shit even the little bitty petty things that happen in your life like all of a sudden just have meaning mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's go you go react different to stuff because you just know that everything is happening for you and not to you you know, and I told Ernest today, I was like, you shooting arrows at me energetically. And he was being passive aggressive. I'm like, no, uh -uh, I ain't, no, uh -uh, I ain't want no negative intention. No, well, I meant I was going to buy some sausages for both of us. <laughs> okay, well, why didn't you say that then? <laughs> you know, just anything, the ego go do anything and like shift shit around. Oh, oh shit, that's oh, yeah. uncomfortable. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And so I just kept with it, you know, and I was just like, babe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Babe, you had an asshole moment. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to come into conflict and looking at this as opportunity. Yeah. This opposition is the opportunity. Yeah. This opposition is not what's oppressing us. I'm here. Yeah. Okay, you had an asshole moment. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to mistreat you behind it. So you don't have to avoid conflict. Mm -hmm. You were given one of the safest people to, to go into conflict with. Mm -hmm. With who my, my energetic spiritual parents are. She don't throw low balls. And he realized so how grateful. safe he was. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm so grateful for that. Oh man, when I throw low blow, throw low blows, she do not throw low blows. And none of us have to. Yeah. We don't have to. Yeah. So the last card that I pull, which is so perfect, is the Eye of Horus. Oh. <laughs> so perfect, the yes. Eye of Horus. Yeah, I, I wear this too. The Eye of Horus. Check this out. The Eye of Horus brings divine perception. Remember we were talking about shifting perception? Learning how to have a more divine perception? It brings protection and it brings insight. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight. For all of those of you who sitting here like, I didn't see no tree and I ain't seen no stream. And damn, that's beautiful as hell. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight. It is what it is. Believe it. That are awakening and growing now. You have much divine support and protection so that you may grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gifts. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. Woo! Mm. <sighs> That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude. Thank you. So don't doubt yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's all about the journey within and us going within and not being afraid of what you find in there, yeah. okay? Whatever you find in there, you are more than accomplished and you are more than equipped to be able to deal with it, okay? No matter what the conflict is, what the problem is, remember, opposition is an opportunity. It's not oppression. Mm -hmm. It is only if you let it be. Beliefs are just thoughts that we give power and meaning to by continuing to believe in them. Yep. And that's beautiful because that means beliefs can change. So I know some of us are wanting our behavior to change overnight. I understand. If I could wave a wand and make my behavior change overnight, I would. I still got a lot of bullshit. I know I probably look enlightened to y'all, but trust me, if I got a lot of bullshit, and I share a lot of my bullshit with y'all because y'all need to know. I don't want nobody looking at me, you know, like Bobby Hemmings say, don't be looking at me, follow me. You follow me, you might get fucked up. I'm just trying to get you information, do your own research, find what resonates with you, you know? And and he, he always, he never tried to get us into a cultish colonializing mindset you know what i'm saying they're trying to colonize consciousness and that's why so mm. many of us have such different back backgrounds but we resonate with remnants gathering with the weirdo tribe that's interesting what a mass grave it's a portal Mm, from, here in Memphis, yeah. from people that die from the yellow fever, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a very, very um, spiritual, powerful city. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Um, that's true. And Memphis is, I'm telling you, that's why we wanted to be able to stream the show with Dr. Bay from downtown sitting on the Mississippi River right in front of the pyramid. You know, it's just, it's, it's really important, this location, speaking about locations. But yes, you are right. And And listen, let me say this too. Y'all have to realize, just like us jumping into the stream of consciousness and we created a river, right? Which with each of us that was like, you know what? I'm sick of being afraid. It don't matter if I can swim or not, I'm jumping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, just that sacrifice of yourself for for the greater good of humanity, for us to continue to evolve into our, our, our divinities, how my spirit guides been giving it to me. Your I divinity, not your identity, your I divinity. divinity. Okay, and so your I divinity to be able to become that it requires a sacrifice and some of us are having to sacrifice jobs living situations comforts relationships so many things awakening does call call for a sacrifice It's not free and this is why this is very different from religion, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, you kind of feel like long you pay your tithes and get some offering and repent you're good this is really different this is more hands-on and it's more manual and it requires more labor more soul labor but your manifestations are becoming effortless okay but remember too much is given much is required i need y'all to remember this and hold on to this this is so important this this show tonight i can't even take credit for it was put together and you know, me and Ernest, like I said, we don't even have a stand anymore. We're waiting on, um, you know, a tripod and stuff to come in because it broke last week. So just know that any inf information, energy, good vibes, all that that you sent to us, that's what it's going to. We appreciate you. You know, yeah. and we yeah, Thank we you. love y'all and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the love. It's a Thank big deal what support. our soul tribe is and yeah. becoming and is doing together. Thank it's a huge deal. Yeah. Thank so, you, Woman's Love and Light. We've been yes. on here with y'all for a long time. Mm. <laughs> you, you, we lose sense of time. We lose sense of time, yeah, yes. Yeah. Weirdo gang gang That's all right. day. Yeah. So yeah. we love you for who you are, wherever you are, whatever your beliefs are. Yep. You know, your no spirit guides here. are here. There's no judgment here. And that's Love what this channel too. is about. Thank you, Miss Pretty Brown Eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are about to soar. I'm telling you, together. You hear me? We are soaring together. Oh, yes. Wow. Memphis and Cairo. Absolutely. I didn't even like get in into Egypt. that. Okay. Just like in Egypt. Yeah. Okay. And I, I have an Egyptian birth name. Campson is my birth name, and it's Egyptian. It's, yeah. it's so many similarities. We're still figuring out who we are, okay? So this it feels like some offset or seer type of shit be going on with us at times. Mm -hmm. um, but we're we're awakening to our own eye divinity as you all are. And so know that your location is even important, okay? We're mm -hmm. grid workers. You are important. You are mm -hmm. important, okay? You don't have to feel important. You don't need other people to make you feel important, to tell you you're important. You don't need society. You don't need degrees. All that external stuff to make you feel important, make you feel sure where you're going, that's falling away with the illusion. Mm -hmm. We're realizing how less we need those things and how more just being able to appreci appreciate things like crystals, you know. We're, we're realizing how we just need to appreciate the things that maybe we really didn't see value in before. Just yeah. giving appreciation to those things and the stuff, the external stuff is falling away. Mm -hmm. So I just want to congratulate you for making it through this live with us. Oh, yes. And thank y'all for sending me the good vibes and the prayers and the yes. petitions. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I'm doing better. Yes. Um, but this is a part of my process, and that's okay. And I don't have to make my healing process look like anybody else's for it to be valid and sacred. Mm -hmm. So, but thank you for participating in that with me. Mm -hmm. Y'all helped put this show together today. Oh, yeah. We oh, didn't yeah. know we was going to be able to do it. Oh, yeah. So here we are. That's right. Yeah. Don't forget, y'all, to love on every single aspect of yourself. Absolutely. Completely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Mm hmm <laughs> Yep. And um, we're going to post the heart meditation from Tom Kenyon as well. Okay? All well, right. You ready? If y'all new to the site, I mean, if y'all new to this channel, go to the website. Definitely too. go to our website, yeah. www.remnantsgathering.com. All right. Absolutely. We're continually trying to um, put more and more content on the site. We got a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. And so we just we just being very selective about what we do add. But yeah, go go to the site, subscribe. So you can stay updated 
Matter of fact, we'll create a form for tonight's show, and they can just talk about tonight's show there if they want to, too. Okay. Okay? Let's do that. If you got questions, or maybe, because some of y'all questions, you all can can answer. answer for each other. Right. So the form is on the site. So what we're going to do is create a form specifically for the show tonight, yeah. and we're going to put the link for Tom there. So oh, go there, you, and then y'all weird asses Ashley can weird. talk to each other. I say, Ashley, thank you. I know it. Thank you, really? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. So, uh, yes, go out into your world. Tomorrow is Monday, Moon Day. Just let that divine feminine energy that's working on you and transforming you just show itself, express itself however it needs to. Yes. Non judgmental, accepting, and embracing everything and knowing that gratitude is not just a vibration, it is becoming a location. That's it. Oh, you heard it here first. And Aye. as we always say, man, your, your third, third eye has just, just been, been kissed. kissed. Peace. Peace.